Hey, welcome to Blender. This video will show you how to uh, change shapes in object mode. So the very uh, first thing to notice, this is the default uh, Blender file. If you ever uh, cause yourself problems and um, get stuck and you need to make changes, uh, you want to start over, you can always just click File, New, Reload Startup File and you get to start fresh. So don't worry about messing anything up. In this um, first scene, you actually have three objects. The first object is your cube. The next object, I'm going to select it with a right click, is your camera. The next object is your lamp. Again, I'm going to select that with a right click. And now I'm going to go back to the cube with another right click. So um, in order to move uh, objects around in Blender, you have a few options and I'm going to start with the series of options that use these beautiful little arrows. In Blender you are dealing with three axes so you've got um, your Z axis which is shown here in blue and goes up and down, your Y axis which is shown here in green and your X axis which is shown here in red and this little grid here shows you um, each one of these uh, squares is a blender unit and the grid shows you um, how you're moving along your axes. So if you want to move a shape along the y-axis you just click on the green arrow and um, then slide while holding uh, down <laughs> uh, you can slide along the slide your finger on the trackpad to slide the shape along the y-axis. To move things along the green axis, you just do a left click on the um, red arrow and this will move you along your x-axis and z-axis again, left click on the blue arrow and then slide your finger on your trackpad to move um, your shape up and down. If you're using a mouse, you can just um, left click and move your mouse around. Uh, if you don't want to move along the axes and you just want to do a freeform move, you can left click, or sorry, right click, and um, with a right click, you're just in freeform grab mode. I don't like to do this because it's really hard to tell whether you're moving up, down, back, or left. So I'm just going to click Escape. Um, and there we go. So moving along the axes is easy uh, with these beautiful little arrows. But now we're going to take things um, a little bit further and we're going to say what if we wanted to actually um, rotate our object so that rather than um, physically moving it in the same position that it's in, what if we wanted to rotate it a little bit? Well, down here um, along the bottom, you can see you've got a few of these arrow options. This first one with the three arrows makes the arrows go away. Some designers don't like to have the arrows messing up their view. If you click it again, your arrows come back. Uh, this first one in the clean arrow mode, this is the one that grabs your objects and moves them along the axes. But this next one, that's kind of an arc, if you click that, you'll see you get now instead of arrows, you'll see you have arcs. And now if I click on the green arrow with a left click, I can actually rotate my shape along the y-axis. And if I click on the red arrow with a left click and then slide my finger on the trackpad, I can rotate my shape along the x-axis and um, of course the blue arrow lets me rotate along the z-axis. So that's how you can rotate. And then there's one more uh, uh, mode you can go into, which is this last one. And here you'll see you've got kind of blocks at the end. And this one is actually scaling. So if I click this red arrow, I'm going to scale my object whoo, along the um, x-axis and if I pull on this green one I'm going to scale it along the y and the blue one is going to scale it along
one with Z. So these are the three arrow options you have for changing the shape and position of your object when you are in object mode.